Hey, hey, this is Sophie with Obsidian Security. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the problem of Shadow SaaS and give a quick demo of how Obsidian responds. So imagine this, your job is to protect your company's data. You go through every SaaS app to make sure they're locked down and the data inside them is protected. But then you find out that your employees are still using unknown and unsecured SaaS apps. We call those apps Shadow SaaS. Because SaaS is so easy to deploy, organizations often have more Shadow SaaS apps than they do normal apps. And Shadow SaaS is problematic because over half have access to your sensitive data, just minus any protections. That means that if an attacker compromises a Shadow SaaS app, data might be stolen before you even realize the app existed. And SaaS breaches happen fast, sometimes in less than 10 minutes. What Obsidian does is deliver centralized visibility and control over all these apps. Unlike other tools, Obsidian uses multiple methods of discovery, including email metadata scanning, browser detection, and integration analysis to make sure you're getting the most comprehensive knowledge of what's going on in your environment. Now we're going to jump into a quick demo to see how it works. Okay. Let's say I'm a user who's heading over to Dropbox because I want to upload some product roadmap notes. Now this activity will be picked up by the Obsidian browser extension and logged. Now we'll pivot over to the Obsidian console to check it out. We'll head over to SaaS inventory and here you'll see a collection of all applications discovered in the browser. Some of these might be apps you know about like Google Workspace. Some might be unfederated like Dropbox. Some might even be Gen AI. For now, I'm going to go ahead and block all access to Dropbox. Now, these apps will automatically be sorted by criticality based on their capabilities. This will help your team understand which ones to address first. By clicking in, we can see a few more details about each app. This includes what the app is, discovered users, and observed domains. On this page, you'll also see a place for you to apply workflows as well as another area that can block browser access. All right, and let's say in this case, we block Dropbox because our company is a Google shop and we don't want employees to be uploading business documents to any other app outside of Drive. Now that we have it blocked, I'm gonna go ahead and try to access it again, and we'll see that access is blocked. Thanks for watching this quick demo. If you have any questions, head over to obsidiansecurity.com to learn more.